Well, they actually report uh, protesters occupying streets in Ogun State's Ota Road precisely. But these protesters are not just calling for an end to police brutality. They are also calling for an end to bad roads. Now, we have uh, an eyewitness joining us live from Ogun State, uh, Tife Faith. Tife, uh, if you can hear me, what exactly are the yearnings of the people right there in Ogun yes, State? Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon. All right, good afternoon. Um, at the moment, we have quite a large number of people standing by out there, protesting, airing their voices, saying to uh, the government, uh, good roads, which has been reported over time, reported that people have clamored for good roads, but the government has turned their heads to them. So people are, are coming out and asked to say no to bad roads. So, Tife, you are now saying that this is not about end SARS or end police brutality. This is purely about an end to bad roads. No, it's not. No, it's not about end SARS. Actually, it's the hashtag fix other roads. The hashtag fix other And then this process has been on since uh, Friday, Friday morning. All right, if uh, you can just take us through some of the roads that you're mentioning now that need attention from the government, particularly those that can be addressed by the state government in Ogun State. Um, you are, we are hearing that the protesters are in Ota. What part of the roads are actually of concern? Okay, uh, some of the roads we're talking about, Georgiou, uh, Inward Plaza Road, uh, we're talking about um, Plaza to Dalimo Road, uh, and Ijoko, there's, there's Korotu, it's a road, as well as um, Ijoko, inward from Konihali. Uh, these are the road, five major state roads that we are looking at uh, the government paying attention to. Then, most importantly, the federal road that's talking about uh, Songo Ota alongside Lagos Abeokuta Expressway. All right, Tife, wow, that's, that's quite a comprehensive list, and that seems to be uh, some... Uh, can you hear me? All right, I, I said that yes, was... Uh, that's, those appear to be a comprehensive list that have that, been put together there, and looks like something that can be worked on yes, by the state government. Now, if you can just take us through, the images we are seeing are quite disturbing. We can see vehicles almost turning sideways in a, move, in, in a bit to, uh, to, 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 to go through some of these roads. Now, how long or do you see, would you say that these issues are pestered uh, in Ogun State? And how, uh, what are difficulties that this has posed for residents of Ogun State? Okay, uh, talking about the, the road, the anatomy, I should call it anatomy of the road, that's the description of how the road has been over, over the years. There is a particular person here with me. Uh, he's one of the uh, youth leaders of the, the society. He goes by the name of Mr. Oke Ashwagi. Uh, is here to also uh, tell you give you more details to what I'm actually talking about. He knows a whole lot about this thing. He is a politician. Uh, All right, very, very quickly, if you can just run us through the difficulties that um, road users have been experiencing in Ota. Uh, you, you, you've given us a comprehensive list of five. Uh, what are the issues that, uh, the, the challenges that road users have faced using those roads? All right, uh, you know, Ota is quite industrialized, so we have quite a number of um, trailers and LPC trucks that fly the road. So in most situations or most cases, uh, these um, trailers and LPC trucks usually you know, fall on the road. As a matter of fact, some weeks ago, a particular mechanic was trying to fix a car um, along the road, especially uh, the road with the W acting. And while he was, um, you know, um, spotting to fix the car, it tried to, you know, fall on him and he died instantly. That's what we say, you know, um, worrisome experiences that um, we have encountered as a result of this bad road in Ota, actually. Um, yes, aside from the fact that people spend so much to repair their vehicles every week, some spend more, nothing less than 30,000 to fix their cars. Uh, in, in cases of emergency, too, sometimes you find it difficult to navigate through to even get to the office, too. And uh, this has resulted in some cases, uh, you know, premature uh, delivery and sometimes even premature death of, uh, of pregnant women who are trying to get to the hospital to, to get their baby delivered. Uh, you, as you can see, the picture they sit down, two trucks on the road. There, there was no, there's no way any other vehicle could, you know, pass such a road. And this sometimes slow down economic activities, slow down, uh, you know, 
um, traffic and um, in fact it's even it's happening to deteriorate our health and uh, all these challenges uh, what we are saying enough is enough to the federal government for them to fix our side local road and to fix Lagos and Dakota Expressway, while the state government is to fix the state road. Five in particular have been listed for Prince Dr. Dapwabiodu to do. These are our demands. Thank you. Uh, we'll be hoping that uh, you put a timeline to some of these demands that you're asking for, and you keep the public aware about the government's plans uh, to actually address those concerns. Thank you to Fair Faith, uh, as well as uh, uh, his colleagues there from Ogun State uh, for telling us more about uh, the protests, fix Otter Roads. We appreciate you for your thoughts on the news.